playing in the Stanley Cup playoffs, and then here you are now. Do you have to sort of reset mentally a little bit? Uh, I mean, a little bit. I, I mean, it's weird to have one season then and then come down here and still continue, especially uh, with the mood and the locker room stuff. And help you, uh, I mean, most of those guys are done up there, but. I mean, here it's uh, business as usual, and I mean, all the guys around here are excited to have us back and excited to be here, so it's it's, uh, it's good to see the guys there. Do you think it helps that you've done this several times before, the up and down six, so integrating back into the lineup is something you've done before? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that definitely helps uh, having played up there and come back down and, and play here, so um, yeah, I see that as it's just another another time it's happening. Um, I thought you and Taylor looked really good in that Series. I wonder if you could. Why do you think you had some success, and and what does that do for you going forward? Yeah, I, I think. Uh, I mean, it was a quick, seemed like a quick five game, five games, ten days. That I mean, there's really no time to just um, not adjust, but to get into it. And we, we seem to be comfortable out there playing together, and and uh, it seemed like each game we got more and more confident. So um, it definitely helped uh, having that familiarity with uh, Taylor and, and playing with him, but. Uh, I, mean, I think we both uh, just gained confidence as the uh, series went on. When did you feel like, like during the course of this year, that you and him would be a good team there? Because you've been real good all year together. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was until up till like um, we were both up there, we realized how many games we actually played together and stuff. So, I mean, when we were kind of down here playing together, we were just just another game, take a game by game and stuff. And I mean, once you're up there and we were people talking about, it, we really realized how how, uh, how much we actually played together. Now you're coming into a team that obviously played really well in the first two games of that Syracuse series, up 2-0, outscored them 9-1. to I wonder how you sort of view that. Like, do you feel like it's a great situation to get into, or do you feel like there's a really high standard you have to keep? Oh no, I mean that standard is always always here. So uh, having played the last two years in playoffs, uh, I, I know that, and I mean it's awesome coming in, especially with them up two to nothing. But um, I mean with that, there's a game Wednesday, so. Um, we're going to have to kind of get thrown into the series or, or try to understand the series um, having not played in it. You know, um, d yeah, that's an interesting point. Do you feel like that will maybe take you a couple shifts to sort of get a feel for what Syracuse is doing? A little bit, but uh, I mean, our coaches do a great job of, of breaking that down and letting us know, so I think uh, we'll be prepared going in. You know, there's going to be, obviously, with Pittsburgh out, there's going to be, you know, people watching, management types and stuff like that. And you got yourself here, Pulley out here, and Harrington here, and, and Charney here, uh, among others. I wonder if you, there's a sense of um, sort of competition right now in terms of setting yourself up for the future. A little bit, but I mean, we all want each other to do well. That's, I mean, that's what, how you get better is, is by guys pushing you uh, to, to play your best. So um, it's going to be fun playing with all those guys again and, and uh, trying to continue and, and make, a, make more of a run here. Last thing I want to ask you is, over the last two years, your track record in the playoffs is really good. What are you... Um, like, what's your emotions like getting into some playoff games? Do you like? Do you actually like this time of year? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, it's it's everyone's best hockey, and those who aren't playing best hockey usually are the ones getting eliminated. So, um, for me, I, I really like it. I really like how it's kind of a every game is is that more important, and, and it's uh, it's a really fun time to play. Like the weather's getting nice, and and uh, we've been together for a long time, so we're a really close team. So. It's uh, definitely a fun time uh, to play and a fun time to be in. Do you feel fortunate that you go play in the Stanley Cup playoffs and if that doesn't work out as far as the team advance and you have this to fall back on? Um, yeah, I, I'm obviously fortunate to, to continue to play hockey and play more uh, play more this year. Um, obviously, I'd like to try to play in the Stanley Cup playoffs as, as long as I could, but um, that wasn't the case this year. And, and uh, I'm happy to come down here and be able to continue to try to play some, for something. You were talking about joining the, this team in the playoffs. Is it easier to rejoin this team when they're up to nothing as opposed to being down 0-2 or split even? Yeah, I mean for sure. I, you talk to anyone in here. Um, we like the situation that we're in right now, but um, going forward, it's it's tough to close out a team, and uh, especially when their backs against the wall. So for us, it's really continuing what they've been doing and and uh, trying not to change anything and just continue to play the way that we've been playing uh, in Pittsburgh.